So I just came in here after I finished my stream and I had some lunch and Ian just made <laughs> my new favorite emote for the channel, the Matt 2 Clown. <laughs> Dude, it looks so good. Hold on, you need to see the full effect. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's, the, this camera doesn't do it justice. Look at this. <laughs> And you killed it with that emote. That's my favorite emote now. That is my that's that's my new favorite emote. You're amazing. Shouts to Ian. Maybe I'll do a room tour. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the room tour that you guys didn't ask for, but here it is. Uh, so this is my room. This is where the magic happens. If you guys watch me on Twitch.tv, you probably see a perspective kind of like this. Is that kind of is that kind of looking like you're watching the stream? Now I'm going to shut this door for optimal um, ambience because I have the nano leaf lights here. But I'll tell you what, these have been an incredible addition to the room. Uh, before I had it, there was just no ambience. I just used to keep that uh, that window open just 24-7 on stream. And um, no lighting or anything, it was just, just this. But I used to stream in the transition of going from afternoon to nighttime. So the camera would change from like the room would change from light to dark. It was a terrible setup. Some people um, also think they, this is a window or I think some dappled light on my wall on uh, stream, which is super weird. Um, here's one of my favorite bags. This is an Adidas bag uh, or Adidas as you Americans would call it. Um, I love this bag. It's very, um, it's very dusty. Oh shoot, dude. But um, yeah, take out this for me for uh, one of my birthdays, but uh, I love it. Uh, I've got a little wall here of um, collector's editions and my slides, which I wear everywhere. But I've got a whole bunch of collector's edition boxes here. I kind of am starting to think I might just get rid of them. I might just get rid of them. Because honestly, I don't want these boxes here. Um, but they're too tall to go on top of my shelves, which we'll see. I've got a whole bunch of other collector's editions up here. Up there, But these ones are too tall to go on top. So I had to keep them down here. I don't have enough cupboard space. They're just kind of an awkward shape. Like this one's very tall. I don't even know where this came from. I've got this one here. It's the Witcher 3. This one kind of goes for a fair bit. Um, this is supposed to be in it. This has like a art book and stuff. I'm actually opening the door again because I'm actually going to take this chair out. I haven't been sitting on this chair. This is just like a standard Ikea chair. And you might be like, Matt, why is your chair randomly there? Because I've actually upgraded or some might say downgraded to this uh, stool. And don't come back. It's actually kind of eh, surprisingly comfortable. Um, it's, it's quite good. It, it helps with your posture. You kind of sit up a little, little bit more straight. But um, you can also spin on it. Oh god, I just ate so much. At first it was maybe a little uncomfortable in, in ways, but I've gotten quite used to it. So I like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Stools, man. They're the, the new gamer chair. Here I am wearing my comfy pants. These are Peter Alexander. And I'm wearing a Goosebump shirt. This isn't a fashion vlog. Anyway, uh, I'll show you guys inside the cupboard. Um, it's kind of a sacred area. Also very messy, but I'll show you anyway. We have a lot of Pokemon cards. You would have seen this. I would have quickly breezed over it. I have a lot of Pokemon cards. I actually want to do maybe a, a vlog where I kind of show you guys some of my prized cards, uh, which are mostly in this folder here. Up here, we got a whole bunch of stuff, man. We got a whole bunch of Pokemon books. These are like the, the old Pokemon with big, big letters, uh, but bigger pictures, you know? Love those kind of books as a kid. A uh, whole bunch of comics. I think there's a lot of Sonic comics in there. Um, I don't really want to get them down because <laughs> then I have to put them back up. Uh, and more boxes and stuff. I've got shelves of things. This is just like a... <laughs> Jesus, dude. What? Where do I even get this stuff? Oh, uh, yesterday was like camera stuff. Um, got headphones. Those are my old headphones. They're kind of busted up. GoPro head mounts. Uh, Joby pods, where they're called. Uh, suction cap mounts. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Lots of uh, DV tanks. I want to get a... Uh, I want to get a little DV camera um, so I can actually see what's on some of these. Reception, mostly weddings, I'd say. Uh, this one I've got like more computery stuff. So it's like, uh, yeah, Jesus, graphics tablet, old uh, Firefly mouse pad. Just uh, yeah, a whole bunch of just cables and shit. So, I, they, you know, it's like in its chaos, they're kind of organized, like all this shit. And this bottom one, this is a whole stack of hard drives. Um, and this is like a hard drive dock, which is super handy. Instead of having to like rip open your PC and chuck these internal hard drives in very quickly, see? Um, what's going on? I don't know, man. There's like lots of terabytes of storage here. This one says don't erase. It's like, oh yes, here we go, four terabytes. So I'd say there's probably, um, 
I don't know, man, 20, 20 plus terabytes of, uh, of storage in here. Mostly weddings. Um, up there is a lot, of, a lot of boxes. You never know when you're going to want to sell something. Not that I ever really sell my tech, but if you ever do, it's handy to have the box, you know. Got a tape here. Don't know what's on it. I want to get a little v, uh, VHS to a uh, USB kind of thing. So I've got a few tapes and I'm sure these have some old ass like ads and shows and stuff on it. I don't know. I used to record a lot of stuff on VHS as a kid, like just so much stuff off TV. And I think just, uh, it was a lot of like old Cartoon Network and whatnot. And I feel like there's probably some really cool like old school ads. Dude, this game, Pokemon Master Trainer. This was a bomb game, by the way. Uh, you kind of like went through, God, I'm kind of crushing the box with this shit. Um, you kind of like went through, caught Pokemon, tried to get to the Elite Four. It was a fun game. Got got a, uh, ooh, it was kind of heavy. How much money we got in here? Whoa, rich. I don't need dollar coins. I'm pretty sure I already sifted through this money box and took out all the golds and cashed them in. Feels bad, it's like 10 cent pieces and whatnot. This money box has like followed me from uh from home, like from over a decade ago when I was a kid. It's pretty cool. It's actually uh it's actually a Nesquik money box. I kind of thought I had it. But I used to put these little I think this was from a Lego soccer kit that I had. Um, and there was a score and I actually would just change it when I put more money in and I actually saved up to $352 in coins in this money box once, which is kind of crazy to think. That's actually a lot of money. Yeah, good saver. So that's the cupboard. Um, back there behind there as well is like a whole bunch of like CDs and stuff, but who needs CDs anymore because we're all about that Spotify. All right, continuing the tour. It's probably my favorite shelf. Uh, in the horror. This is kind of my gaming, um, PC shelf um this shouldn't be here i actually had this camera all boxed away this is my g7x i'm not i don't mind it it's just there's reasons that i'd rather use it's kind of funny you might think matt why are you using your gopro over g7x i just prefer the gopro to be honest it's a bit just quicker and easier to use but i do want to get rid of this either i don't know i kind of want to sell it i haven't used it that much uh this is uh my second switch uh it's a gray one i'll probably resell it eventually i only got it to have a second island on Animal Crossing, because I'm that damn addicted. But uh, I probably collected the most out of any console for a uh, PS5. I mean, PS, gee, jump to the gun, for PS4. Um, no real, no real, I didn't mean to, it just kind of happened. Uh, but I don't know, man. Um, I haven't played a lot of these games. Some of them are still um, sealed in plastic as well. Um, because I got some of these for Christmas or birthday or whatnot, and I just didn't get around to playing them. Uh, Nino King Wrath of the White, which, which actually is a uh, PS3 title. I was out of it here. Uh, it's a PS3 title, but great game. You haven't played uh, Nino King Wrath of the White, which one of my favorite games of all time. Um, also, Far Cry 4 was like one of the first games. I think it was the first PS4 game I played. I loved it. So good. I got this for a birthday from, I think, Tay's uh, family. Uh, I love it. Goku and Chi Chi on the motorbike. Uh, I thought it was just thought it looked quite nice here in front of the, uh, the PS4 games. Very clean looking. Um, I have little figurines all around my room. Uh, these ones I love up here. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Goku versus King Piccolo. Punch him in the gut there. Um, I love these little kind of figurines, you know? They're just a bit of fun. Um, obviously, most of them from Dragon Ball Z, but I've got a Naruto one there, which I got given uh, for a birthday. A lot of little figurines I get given for uh, birthdays and whatnot. I love this one as well, of uh, Astro Boy. Kind of fun. Uh, and this one here from Cyborg009. But I've got a whole bunch of PS2 games, PS1 games back here. Got my original Final Fantasy games, of course. Um, oh, I've uh, got the soundtrack for Final Fantasy VIII. You can get all the soundtracks now uh, for the Final Fantasy games on Spotify, which is one of the best things ever, because I love the Final Fantasy soundtracks. So good. Dude, i got got PSP games. You guys like PSP? I've got my PSP down here. The case is dusty, but I've got the PSP there. So it's original kind of soft case. Um, do you guys remember UMD videos? You could get like movies on uh, on UMD. I've got a whole bunch of these. I don't think I really watched most of them. Um, but it's kind of fun to have. It's so funny. King Kong came on two UMD discs, um, which I can't imagine you'd have to stop the movie halfway through and then put in the second disc. It just seems a little bit backwards, but that really wasn't that long ago in the great scheme of things. And they were just streaming movies. So it's kind of crazy, right? Uh, more PS, uh, PS3 games. I got my Switch games down here. I own like two copies of Animal Crossing for some reason. And that doesn't include 
than the third copy that is a digital copy on my Switch. So I own too many copies of Animal Crossing, not really sure why. Uh, GameCube games, DS games, I've got 64 games here. Couple of 64s. Pokemon Puzzle League, very underrated game. Uh, bit of a banger. And if you can't tell, I was a big fan of like Game Boy Advance, although they're kind of all tucked behind here, but I loved the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy. Uh, I was a big fan as a kid, so I collected quite a few of those games. There's quite a few tucked behind here. Very dusty. I've got to dust them, dude. Dust is like the bane of my existence, and I hate trying to clean up dust. Um, especially on like games and figurines, it's just a complete. But this is where I keep my computer. I'm actually really proud of this, although there are some cables coming through. I need to get a longer USB because this cable here um, goes to my mic, which isn't plugged in at the moment. Um, but I've got to get one. I actually cut a hole in the back of this uh, of this bookshelf so I could run all my cables behind it. It's still kind of messy, but it gets the job done. Um, but I just like it. It's just a nice little nook there for the PC, and I love my PC here. So yeah, quite a lovely PC. I've had it for a couple of years now, maybe close to four years, and it's still going strong. So I feel like I do a good job, build it myself. So I'm very proud of that. Here, like I said, is where the magic happens. This is my desk. This is where uh, the streaming goes down. But if you wanted to see from my perspective, you want a little FPV of me streaming? Hey guys, what's up? How you all doing? Hey, good to see you there. Hey, what's happening? You good? Oh yeah, nice. Thanks for the tier three sub and the $10,000 donation. You're incredible, thank you. So this is my little light hack here. Um, I, I used to have this um, LED light, which is just off um, eBay. It comes with like a little uh, mag magnetic diffuser there, which is kind of important because otherwise it's super bright, not just um, for your face, but just for your eyes as well. Um, but this was really handy except it was just always blinding me when I streamed and it was also a bit harsh on my face. So I ended up pointing it to, uh, I put this alfoil, the standard alfoil from your kitchen uh, on the wall and I just kind of bounced it off and it actually diffuses so nicely um, onto my face. I don't know how it looks now, but um, it definitely makes a difference. So if you're ever looking for a cheap hack to diffuse your cheap lights, then that's uh, a good way to do it. I got my uh, my mic here, my Blue Yeti. I've been using it since uh, early days of streaming. For some reason, this mic stand always goes up. I can't keep it down. I know it sounds kind of funny, haha, -ha, but um, I had to put tape around it and then the tape kept slipping up. So it kept going up. So I've really locked it down, but it looks so unsightly. But uh, hey, it gets the job done. So the mic has been staying in the one spot for, for ages now. So I feel like I finally got it uh, locked in. Of course, you always got to carry your copy of uh, Pokemon 2B and Master just for the right occasion. And this is pretty cool. Take out this for me for uh, one of my birthdays. It's actually a little music box. Um, oh, you can kind of hear it there. Um, I'm a big Studio Ghibli fan, especially when it comes to uh, Spirited Away, my favorite all-time movie. Uh, let me give you a little sample here. That's probably going to go on forever now. I really wound it up kind of tight. This posty is one of my favorite things in this room. I just love it. And did uh, sits right above my desk. So it's a nice piece there. Um, also, I chucked this off to the side here because I just really love it. Obviously, being a Dragon Ball Z fan, um, one of my viewers, Dark Goddess, got this for me. Uh, one of the convention, I think it was like a Comic Con or something. I actually have a couple more like that uh, here. They're like on um, metal, which is kind of dope. And this one's signed by the voice actor of Vegeta. Uh, I can't think of what his name is at the moment. Chris Sabat, I believe it is. And Sean Schemmel, or whatever his name is for, for Goku. That's kind of dope. Um, so I was really hyped on that. That was a really good gift, also from uh, Dark Goddess. Uh, this here is uh, one of my prized possessions. It's actually a... Um, it's like this cool little artwork that um, two of my best friends made for me. It's just like a little collection of drawings that highlight a whole bunch of different memories that we've shared together. And I thought it was really cool, you know? Um, none of these would make any sense to you guys, but to me, there are priceless memories. It's like me emptying my wallet and not having much in there. So this is the final piece of the room. Um, some of it's a little messy, some of it's kind of okay. This is where I keep all my uh, figurines, or my statues, as you'd call them. I used to be a big, avid statue collector. Well, somewhat avid. Um, I'll point out some of my favorite ones. Um, this is Cammy from Street Fighter. Um, I used to always play as Cammy at the arcade. Dude, 
I picked her because one, uh, scantily clad, and I thought it was hilarious. But um, she's actually a really good uh, fighter to play as. Very fast, very strong. Simple alert. I love this one at Master Roshi because does that not just encapsulate Master Roshi? And the best part is you can remove his little sunglasses, which is even funnier. And you can you can wear him yourself. If you haven't noticed, I actually like getting the statues. Uh, of Dragon Ball characters that aren't maybe as <laughs> popular. Um, but this Herky one is hilarious. Um, this here is my favorite statue. If you're like, Matt, what's your favorite statue? It's this one here. This one um, is of a very iconic moment from the show Dragon Ball Z uh, where they're fighting Cell. I won't give too much away in case you haven't seen it, uh, but it's, all you need to know is it's a very iconic moment in the show. And I just love it with the earth kind of breaking up when i got this it was actually 350 bucks um and back then you couldn't get a lot of high quality dragon ball z statues in australia at least i don't know how it was around the world but you can only really get those kind of like cheap toy ones you get from like toys or us or something um so finding this was was amazing to me being a big dragon ball z fan now that you can get like statues that are you know 10 times the size of this and worth like a thousand dollars and they're super high quality but uh, I'm happy with this one. I really like this. This is a Screaming Hand. You might have seen it from our uh, Santa Cruz. This is like a kid robot uh, Santa Cruz crossover. Um, you can see the box up there. You've probably seen the artwork on like t-shirts and whatnot and skateboards. Um, I went to a art. I went to an art exhibition that was the guy who originally drew this. Can't remember his name, but they had these there, and I thought I need this. I love it. High five. I've got some pop vinyls back there, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest pop vinyl fan. Uh, people have given them to me for like birthdays and Christmases. And I like the ones I've got um, because they're representing things I like. But this is my favorite. This one here, the uh, take got me this a little Bob Ross one, which, uh, you know, got to represent Bobby Ross. I've got my Fortnite tactical shooter back there. Yes, it does work. Do you want to see? Is everyone okay? A couple of skateboards. I do like skateboards. I actually have one always under my desk. If you hear a loud crash when I'm streaming, uh, it's my penny boy. I, I like to rest my feet on this. Um, just, I don't know, it's kind of nice. It's a feeling of a skateboard under your feet. Makes you feel like you're, you're cruising while you stream. Lots of anime DVDs. Got a whole heap of them. I used to collect a whole heap of anime DVDs. Uh, back in the day, Neon Genesis, classic. Um, but now they're all like streamable. So it makes these kind of redundant. Um, but they're cool to have still. I don't know if I could ever really part with them. Uh, Pokemon Monopoly. Got a whole bunch of Monopolies. I got a Game Monopoly. Dragon Ball Z Monopoly back there. Um, I still like the classic though. I have to admit, I, I prefer to play classic Monopoly if I play. Got some Digimon Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon VHS because I'm old. I, I'm kind of glad I grew up in an era with uh, VHS because it makes me... Even more appreciate what we have now. Got a whole bunch of random knickknacks up here. And then I've got this, which is kind of random. With like a pen thing up his butt. Um, another gag gift, gift from my sister, so thanks. I've got a whole bunch of books down here. They're mostly game uh, art books and whatnot, uh, which is kind of dope. In here I've got a whole bunch of like 64 games and Game Boy games. Old Game Boy, mate. oh Jesus, dude, some, some uh, floppy disks. Uh, some old Game Boy manuals. A <laughs> couple of old Game Boys. Uh, oh, this, this here is my first ever Game Boy. Um, the screen actually fell off. I was unicycling in the house and it knocked off the shelf and the the screen kind of fell off. But yeah, this is my first ever console uh, that I ever got. So good memory. I got this for my birthday when I was probably six or something. So super young. And I got a whole bunch of like 64 games and uh, Super Nintendo games back there. Probably shouldn't keep them getting all dusty, but I don't know, man. Where else am I going to put them? But anyway, that's enough for the room tour today. I'll probably do another one of these. Maybe once I clean my room up, maybe I'll go in depth with a few other little favorite things in my room. But that is my room. I think Tay's home. You're home already? Hi. Hey.